Hi, this is Nido. Welcome to your 20 minute workout with me. Uh, this will be really, really helpful if you are, are on vacation. I am getting ready to go on spring break, so um, I will need this workout. No equipment needed, just your amazing, amazing body, the muscle you already have, and lots of fun. If you want to play music while you're doing this, please go ahead and do that. We're going to hear beats at the beginning and end of every segment and you'll also hear a halfway alert. Let's start your warm up with torso rotations right here when you're ready. Right here. Breathe with it and when you're ready take this right arm across and switch. Yes, we're going to do some planks so we're going to need those shoulders but remember when you're doing a plank most of it is coming from your core. It's not really your shoulders that are helping you hold it there. And one more right here. Let's open it up here. Make sure you're moving those legs. Two more. And let's open up those hips when you're ready. Right and left. You can also keep your hands on your hips here if you want to. Make sure you're breathing with it. Bring the circles only as high as you want to. It doesn't have to be very high. The last one, we're going to squat and reach the floor. Make sure those legs are hip distance apart right here. Squat it and reach it. Now, the word reach is important not touch. You don't have to touch the floor if it creates any pressure in your lower back. So just make sure you keep the core nice and tight and reach only as far as you can using that core breathing with it. And we're going to do one more together right here and zero. Of course, let's sweat at zero. You got it. All right, we're going to do some knees right here. Just some knee marches. Yep, just to get those legs warmed up, the lower core warmed up. All right, we're going to get right into the workout with your first 30 second cardio move. You have three blocks of work, and each block has four moves. All right, so we're going to go through those moves. In each block, they're going to follow the same pattern cardio, core, cardio, core. Keep going right here. And we're just going to step it to the right, come to the center, step it to the left. Come to the center. This doesn't have to be very big. Step out and in. Right here. Push those hips back. Keeping the chest lifted. Try not to bend from that lower back. And we start in the first move. Let's go. Just come with me. All right? Right here. Lunge right. Lunge left. Let's just, just start here. Just for now. Right here. You got it. Now, if you want to take it a little bit more, switch right here. That's your halfway alert for 30 seconds. Breathe with it right here. Slow and steady. If you want to take it a little bit faster, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put this side of you. And a zero and rest. All right. Yeah. Now you have a little bit of time to shake it off. All right. We're going to go into your first one minute strength. Move. Here's what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna be on the floor. You're gonna do a push up and a toe touch. Toe touch. I'm gonna start with one option one, and we're gonna slowly progress together into option two. If you know option two, go right into it. Okay, so you're gonna be on the floor. Push up. Knees down. Option one. Yes. Right here. Here's your one minute. So you push up. Reach through your legs to reach to your right toes with your left hand and alternate. Right here. Go push up, reach through to your opposite toes. Push up, reach through to your opposite toes. Option two looks like this. Push up, reach, push up, reach. Now this is your strength food, all right? You are building muscle here, using your body weight. No equipment needed. So and steady. That's your halfway alert. Catch your breath. Bring your knees down if you're going to knock down. Take your time. We got this. And again, the word is reach. If you're not touching the toes today like me, that's okay. Some days I can't touch the toes. Other days I can't. Try not to move your arms as you're reaching for the opposite toes. Yes, this will get you out of breath. Breathe with it. No matter which option you're in. After the zero and slowly come up, shake it off. Make sure you have water. This is a great time to hydrate. Just a sip. 
Yes, no gulps. All right, your next move is a forward lunge kick. Bring it up the upright. You're gonna forward lunge. You're gonna slightly push back. Find your balance and then kick. All right, we're gonna alternate the legs. This is also one minute long. Shake it out. Okay, catch it. Big inhale. Exhale and come with me right here. Forward lunge, kick. Switch the leg. Forward lunge, kick. Now you're focusing on the legs. Your core is still working. Right here. That's it. Keep going. Bend the knees at a 90 90 as you kick. Right here. And the kick doesn't have to be very big. Keep going. Stay tight from the core. You got this. And smile. It's going to help you breathe. Stay with it. Stay with it. We're already halfway there. All right? Whatever it is you're thinking in your mind right now. If you're thinking, oh my God, this is so hard. I don't know if I can do this. Just No. Just kick it off. Kick it off your head. Rest. And just stay with me. I'm with you. All the way to the end. To the finish line. Breathe with it. Yep, use those arms if you want to. Keep going. You can go slower. If you're going faster than me, make sure you maintain good form. Make sure you hit that zero. Great job. All right. Shake it off. We're going to go to your next move. This is your core move. It's bear out in. All right. Here's what it looks like. You're going to be on the floor again. You're going to be in a plank right here. Hands right through the shoulders. Try to around the shoulders. Just watch real quick. Right here, you come in, in, out, out. Stop the knees right below your hips, all right? We'll progress into option two, you can turn if you want. Here we go, this is option one, let's go. In, in, out, out. So it's right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Keep going, keep going, don't look back. As you get tired, your neck starts to drop. You wanna look back. Just look the dog behind you, right? That's your halfway alert. Now, if you want to add a little bit more, you can try both feet coming in and back, but stopping those knees right underneath your hips. Try to keep those hips low, in line with your back, after the zero, and come up. Shake it off. All right, block one done. You don't have to do those moves again today. I know, unless you really want to do this whole 20 minute workout again. Go all in. All right. Your first move for block two is cardio, okay? We're going to sprint and squat hop. So you're going to sprint. When I say squat hop, option one, heels come off the floor. Sprint just looks like this. Yes? All right. Shake it out. Deep inhale. Exhale. Quick sip of water. Go for it. My water's kind of far, so let me quickly grab it. Here we go. I'm going to keep it a little bit closer. Practice what you preach, right? Yes, let's go. All right, team, let's do this. Here we go. Sprint it. When I say squat hop, we're gonna squat hop. Right here, let's go. Squat, hop. That's it. Shake it, let it all shake. Option two, squat hop. Looks like this. Land soft. Squat hop. Looks like this. It's four, three, two, one. Squat hop. Again, you don't have to jump if you don't want to. Squat hop, just lift the heels up. Squat hop. Front, 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 and squat hop. Keep the chest lifted. Breathe. Last soft. Back to zero. And rest. Great job. I know. I feel it too. All right. We're going to go sumo circle squats. Okay. This is a minute long, so we're going to pace ourselves. Just watch what it looks like. You're going to round that leg. Toes out, heels in. Round this leg. Toes out, heels in. Take a breather at the halfway mark if you need to, right? We're going to make sure we don't lean forward as we squat. If you're between two planes of fall, walk and out and back. Here we go. Circle this leg. Toes out. Heel in. Yep. Just like that. Keep going. Breathe with it. Right here. You got it. You can keep your hands on your hips or you can be here. That's right. Breathe. So notice I'm not turning my body with the circle. I'm staying facing the front. Breathe. Get a little bit lower into the squat. If you want to, just make sure you're not leaning forward as you sit into that sumo. Your core is working 100% right now. 
especially if you're not leaning forward. As soon as you start leaning forward, your core doesn't have to do the work because the lower back kicks in. You don't want that. Keep that core going because it, it can take a lot more load than your lower back, especially when you're moving. Keep going. You need that lower back while you're moving, like walking and sitting. And all the other things in life. And a zero right here. Let's go. Yes. Shake it out. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Sip on water, okay? All right. We're going to do a back lunge kick. So we do a forward lunge. I'm just going to take it down here. Just lunge it back and take it forward, okay? Looks like this. Right here. Put the side. Make sure that front knee stays behind the toes. And kick. All right. We're going to do alternate. Right and left. Big inhale. And exhale. Feel that down, down. Three, two, one. Stand up, go back down. That's right. Three, two, one. 
Three, two, one. Count us down. Yep, I know. No half rates high. That's a good thing. Keep going. Breathe. Keep going. I'm moving into the next option, which is I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to stay here. Now, the key here is to go opposite arm, opposite leg. That comes with practice, all right? So if you're not there today, don't worry about it. Just walk. And if your hips are high on the side, if you're here by now, hey, it's normal, okay? It's normal, I know. I've been there. The key is to get stronger to where you can stay low to the ground and keep going. Keep going, you're so close. Don't look back. Don't look back. Here it comes. After the zero. And come out. Shake it out. All right, the next move is a side lunge knee lift. Watch real quick. Make sure you're hydrating as you're watching, all right? Quick sit of water. Doing a side lunge, knee lift. Side lunge, knee lift. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, all right? You'll hear a single beep. I'll tell you to switch the leg. We just switch the leg. I'll show you progression as we go along. Here we go. Shake it out. Tell yourself you're amazing. And go. Right here. And lift. Reach and lift. Toes are pointing to the front. They're not pointing to the sides. Keep that core tight. Breathe with it. Point the knee to the front. Try not to do this. Uh-uh. Stay aligned. Don't overextend that back here. Now, if you want a little bit more, you hop on that standing leg, which is your left, if you're going to the right. Breathe. Now, you can make that hop a little bit more if you want to. Keep going. Keep that back flat. We got this. Both toes face forward. I think we're halfway. I can't miss the beep. Go to the other side. Let's go. Right here. Hey, it happens. It happens to be excited. You're feeling good. Right? Do a few extra on this side if you need to. Keep going. Remember, you don't have to jump, especially if your knees are feeling any pain or pressure. Yep, I think it's a half beat. Half to the zero. Let's do two more. Yes, let's do it. Awesome. And shake it out. Sip on water. Hydrate. Deep cleansing breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Oh my god, your last move. 30 seconds. I know, and then come down. Dessert is coming. Workout dessert is coming. All right. We're going to do weighted helicopters, but we're not going to make this weighted. It's just going to use helicopters as the core. Okay? So come on down with me. Grab a mat. If not, no worries. Right here. Okay, helicopters. You're crossing at the ankles. Right here. Breathing with it. You got it. Elbows are out. You can do this on the floor. You're halfway there. If your neck starts to hurt, take your head down. You take your head down, make sure your legs go up in the air. Otherwise, it's really, it's a lot of stress in your lower back. All right? Make sure those elbows are up on your amazing faces. After the zero. Oh my goodness. And we're done. Just like that. I know, right here, towards the rotations. We're going to cool it down. Yep, right here. Keeping the chest lifted. Feeling energized for whatever the day is going to bring. Whatever you are going to let the day bring to you. All right, right here. Hold. A little bit longer than the warm-up. Warm right here. Two more. Right. And left. Let's stretch out those legs. Hold something if you need to. Hold your hand against the wall on the hands if you need to. Right here. Point the toes down, not flex. Point, flex, point on the other side. Right here. Hug it in. Keep the chest lifted. Flex, point, flex, point. Shake it out. Right here. Cross the right leg in front of the left. Reach. Only as far as you can, hold it for three, two, one. Slowly come up on the zero on the other side. Right here, wrap it around, reach, push the hips back. Hold it for three, two, one. Come up on that zero, shake it out. 
open the arms really big right here. Big inhale. Exhale, right arm hugs over the left. Open one more time. Big inhale. Exhale, left arm hugs over your right. Hug yourself a little bit tighter here. A little bit tighter. Feel that love. Feel that self love and hug. The best hug you can give is a self hug. Open one more time. Big inhale. Exhale, bring those hands together. Hands to your heart. Thank your amazing body because it thanks you more, and I thank you a gazillion times more than that. Yes, gazillion is a number. A big hug for me. I hope you're hugging me. Yes, I can feel it, I can feel it. Oh my goodness, yes. We did it, we did it, you did it. Stay sweaty, healthy, happy. Use this any day of the week, especially on your vacation, spring break coming up. Summer, for summer I'll hopefully have, not hopefully, I will have a different workout. But in between, I'm gonna to try to keep adding to this library. Would love your feedback. Please share it. And I'll see you in another workout.